Hey everybody, Dan Holstein here with another Rev Up Your Business video. Today we're talking about the difference between excellence and perfection, and specifically the cost to you of striving for perfection when excellence is really what's necessary. So let's go to the graphic here. Like we've got this curve here where we're showing this is all of your effort to create perfection. It takes all this time and effort to get there. And this is the quality of your work that you're actually producing. Let's say for instance that right around here, this is excellent. And maybe right around here, as we start to tail off the level of quality increase, this is perfection. Okay, now look at the difference of time. It's a lot of additional time to get there. In fact, if we were to look at it in terms of units, if this was you know, one unit of time, this is from here to here, this is at least another, another unit of time. So we could say it could take anywhere from three quarters as long to twice as long to get something done from a level of excellence to perfection, right? I'm sure you found yourself in that case, in that situation where you're working, 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 just trying to get those final last little details just or doubt to it's perfect, okay? The interesting thing about that is you're probably the only one that could tell the difference. The expectations of those that are consuming what you're creating, whether it's in terms of a proposal or a quote or a report or a video or a podcast, you know, you're, you're the expert in what you do. You know all the little things that went into the background, but the people consuming it may not be able to tell the difference from excellence up to your perfection. But check this out. If we look right here, this here, this is the delta. This is the difference of quality between excellence and perfection. It's this much distance here, but it's this much distance of time and effort. So we have a little bit of quality improvement. You probably are the only one that can see it. And all this additional time and effort that goes into creating this so-called perfection. And we all know that being human, we can't actually create perfection. Sometimes good enough is good enough in terms of if we just get to where excellence is. So here's a couple of things to think about. Why is it that sometimes we are determined to strive towards something that's perfect? What are we concerned about that it has to be so, so good? Could it be things like we're afraid of what people might say if they saw that we made a little mistake or forgot some little bit or it wasn't just quite right? So we're worried of what other people think? Could it be that we're trying to prove something that we have this high level of excellence because we're a little bit insecure about something else? Could it be we're actually just procrastinating? We're making it take longer than it needs to take so we can use up our time? It could be any of the above, but what's the cost to you of this? It'll vary for everybody and depending on what you're doing, but generally, if we're striving for perfection, it's gonna take a lot more time and effort. So first of all, we lose our time. It's our only non-renewable resource. Once your time is gone, that's it. You can't get it back, right? So we're losing our time, but we're the, also what we're losing is what we could create and produce within the additional time that we're, we're using trying to get to perfection. If this is, you know, say three hours to get something done to excellence and another three hours to get to perfection, or at least another hour or two, you know, we're into 50 to 75% more time to get something done where we could have saved that time on another item. We could have been more productive or created something else as well. So the other thing that I see with people trying to, business owners particularly going for perfection and not settling, settling for excellence is that when they're delegating, they delegate and they're expecting perfection from those whom they delegate to. And inevitably, the people that they're asking to do things can't hit perfection because they can't even do it, let alone someone who's being trained on something. And then the end, business owner ends up taking the item back and trying to continue on with perfection. You know, when we're delegating and just trying to get something done to a level of excellence, your team can probably get it to a level of excellence. We've got to be okay with that. And think of the leverage you're going to get from that and the time that they're going to save working on things instead of trying to get for perfection as well. So that's it for now. So as you're going through your week, think about things that try to identify rather where you're going for perfection rather than simply excellence, which is actually really, really good. Perfection, the unattainable, unattainable, excellence, the really, really good that people will find value in and not even be able to see the difference that you're putting all this extra time and effort in. And the other thing is, what could you do with the time that you get back from settling for excellence instead of driving towards this impossible perfection? That's it for this week. Talk to you next time.